we have quite a lot of detailed information uh, and we will evaluate it and we will include any um, evidence of wrongdoing or any evidence of impropriety in our final report and make recommendations. and the prosthetic as right here you can see where it hasn't blended in correctly it goes up over the nose this is going to be her real skin right here as they try to blend it together and you can see the prosthetic goes down to here it gets blended in here possibly comes down here You can see that it goes straight to here, blending it in, and it goes down to here. This could also be a piece, and then they blend it in on the cheek. We can see that there's some latex being used right here. Her nose is real because we can see the skin color. You can see the latex doesn't get blended too well right there. And of course we can see her real cheek popping through right there. A little bit of latex right on that. But this area right here, that area right here, looks to be just covered with makeup and that's real skin. She has also painted her lips on at the halfway point to make them look less full, to hide her real identity. Again, we can see the latex being used and not blended correctly. That's latex there. A slight latex. Not as much this time on the nose, on the corners here. And of course we have the cheek piece.
and it does look like they are using a piece on the end. This is old age stipple. It's a type of latex that you let dry and it causes the skin to wrinkle. That's regular latex, but she hasn't been covering it up correctly with the powder, or this is just at the end of the day and it's just come off. You can see that there's a possible piece attached right there as well. Now you're wanting to know who is this person. Well, it's a shocker, let me tell you. Christina Applegate. We can also see that there's been an attachment added to the back portion of her ear. As you can see when we do the comparison, everything else matches except for the add-on piece. And we can see where that's added on see the line right here where it is attached to it. All the other landmarks are consistent. Now Christina was hired by Jody Foster a long time ago to work on a film and they never got a chance to work on it because of some I think there was a, a budget problem or something.
Passed by fits and flashes fell upon them. Some lay down and hid their eyes and wept, and some did rest their chins upon their clenched hands and smiled. I feel like they're just trying to get everyone to scare people. There are several things I want you to notice in this screenshot. First, the back of his hand. You can clearly see the prosthetic that's been applied to make his hand look swollen. And underneath, you'll see the markings of post-production work done to his pinky to make his finger look bent. This is how he pulls off the claims of arthritis when he plays, of course, David Icke. When he plays Branson, he doesn't have the prosthetic and his hand looks normal. And for those of you that are going to, of course, mention the hands and not even look at the evidence here, you'll notice that he's wearing prosthetics on the back of his hands that make his knuckles look larger. You can see it clearly in some of the other shots. Thanks, Dave, for the uh, high-resolution camera footage this time. We haven't been able to observe this in his other videos. But by holding his hand in a certain position, and of course the lens that they use, anything that gets close to the middle of the lens, with that perspective makes the hands look larger. So that combined with the prosthetic that you can see attached to the back and makes his knuckles look thicker and fingers look out of place, you can effectively create that arthritis, so he says. So this is Sukoti Park, formerly known as Liberty Square, apparently, it's very appropriate. And uh, this is the scene where, in the early hours of this morning, uh... David Icke. Pretty well-known individual. Pretty high profile. So therefore, some of you are having a hard time understanding that when I outed him for being Sir Richard Branson, you had a difficult time seeing it. So, I'm going to show you some solid evidence, some solid proof. Not only do they look alike, and not only do they match the facial landmarks, but they sound alike, and they have another common bond between them both that I think you'll find pretty interesting. Uh, they would be six, seven, eight foot tall, and, um, and I would be able to... Um... Well, Steve regains the lead, but Alex uh, wouldn't let him get away, and in frame six, they were all square again, and remember, it's the best... Uh, they would be six, seven, eight foot tall, and, um, and I would be able to... Um... A guy came to me at, uh, at the break who'd been on... Uh, uh, they would be six, seven, eight foot tall and... Uh, a much more anxious America. Uh, a, a more fearful America. And certainly, walking around uh, New York City with the protests... Uh, uh, giant corporation uh, is that each of those companies are relatively small in their sector. They're hungry. Um, you know, they've got people running them who've got a you know, stake in the company, um, and, uh, uh, and the, you know, we're... we're, 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 we're the native... Uh, 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 so in addition to that, he is a Sir Richard Branston, so he's loyal to the Queen. 